welcome in to Guys in the Garden. My name is Guy. I'll be with you for the next two hours. We are uh, starting our countdown to summer. Summer will be here before you know it. We got all kinds of cool things. We got five flex pay on all electronics and culinary. We got four flex on fashion. Lots of cool things going on. And guess what we got going on today? We got the $40 gift if you get a brand new hsn credit card we're going to give you 40 bucks you put it in your account you can use it towards any uh, of your purchases your first item purchase on a single item 40 it's the most we do so it's a great time to be able to uh you know get your hsn uh, credit card today and beautiful flowers coreopsis right here oh i got to show everybody the cat look at this you gotta look at this I've got a cat planter or a dog planter. I don't know if you can come in close. Look at how cute that is. All right, these are about $24. They're on sale. I got 1,000 left. This is the cat. The cat will sell out first, and I also have it in the dog. It's adorable. That's coming up a little bit later. We got our mailbox out here. Remember, we're streaming live on Facebook, so if you've got any questions or comments, you can send them in. I'll open up the mail. I'll check it out. I'll read your stuff on air. So if you're one of our Facebook friends or want to be one, uh, that's the way to do it. Come on over. You know, I always tell you, you got to feed the birds, right? If you want the animals and, you know, the insects, if you want the, the butterflies and the bees and all that to come, you got to put plants out and you got to feed the birds. I'm going to put our seed in, in our squirrel-proof bird feeder, which, by the way, it's normally squirrel proof, but it's not here because the squirrel can climb down, hang it from a tree, and it'll be squirrel proof. Uh, we've got the hydrangea coming up a little bit later. I got like 300 of these. If you want that beautiful berry white hydrangea, you should start ordering it now. That's a great price as well. And one of the items that I feature in this show that's my pick, the electromagnetic pest repellers are back. I own these, I own two of them. These are industrial. If you don't like, you know, uh, mosquitoes, if you don't like cockroaches, if you don't like rodents in your home or anywhere around your house, this is the way to do it because this is a two-prong attack. It sends out ultrasonic waves, so it clears everything out in the house, but it also works in your wiring, and it sends out an electromagnetic signal that goes through the walls. This doesn't kill them. It keeps them out of your house. They don't want to come near it because they got those that two-prong attack coming at them. I love them. I own them. That's my pick of this hour. That's coming up a little bit later as well. But we're going to get you started with our uh, countdown to summer. I'm going to walk over. Come on over. We got our day lilies. So these are beautiful. If you are afraid to grow lilies, there's no reason to. These are virtually maintenance-free. They are the easiest lilies you will ever grow. Um, you're going to get three different varieties. And they're beautiful. Everybody loves lilies, so you get ones in pink, you get ones in yellow, and you get ones in red. These are what we call a bare root plant, which is actually the best way to get these. Uh, they are cared for in the, in the nursery, and then we package them up and we send them out. All you gotta do is pop them in the ground, put some dirt on them. That's it, and water them every so often, and you will get gorgeous day lilies. So you are getting two, uh, actually you're getting six of these. You're getting two of the little business. You're getting two of Prairie Bell, and you're getting two of what they call the Stella Bella. So three varieties, two of each. These will live for years and years and years. These are perennials, so they come back every year. They are gorgeous. If you love bees, hummingbirds, butterflies, these are for you. They're gonna add some great color, and they'll just pop up every spring. I love daylilies, because that's what they do. Let me introduce you to our special guest, Rochelle Grayer is standing by. Rochelle, what a great deal. $20, and you get six of our daylilies today. Welcome to our show. You're welcome. No, you can't beat this price. No. Um, six daylilies, and honestly, these are a plant you will, you know, literally, if you plant them now, your grandchildren will still be enjoying them. Love it. You know, decades from now, because they, that's how they, they do. They spread slowly. Uh, I live up here in New England. You know New England. Um, they're everywhere up here. We, we like to plant them along our stone walls and, you know, property lines, fence lines. They're really great for that kind of low hedging look because they do kind of spread very slowly over time. You can put them, you know, evenly spaced, maybe just uh, two or three feet apart. And within a, you know, couple years, you're going to have that all filled in. And throughout the months of I would say June and July, or maybe July and August, depends on where you are. You're going to have these beautiful blooms that just come one after the next. I mean, they're really kind of the height of summer sort of planting that's going to, you know, give you these beautiful flowers. I mean, the pink is my favorite, personally. I don't know. What's your favorite, Guy? I think I like that pink because I like the multicolor. As you're looking at, at yeah, a close-up of it, it's got that yellow and orange, and they actually all are multicolored. Look at that. Look at the the, uh, the red. Yeah. The red has the yellow as well. I, I love how they coordinate together, but you could pop these, Rochelle, anywhere in your yard, right? 
Yeah, no, absolutely. And this is what they're going to come like. I just want to show you. Um, they're going to be bare root. And when you get them, you'll see there's a little bit of a green part on the top, and then the rest of it is this root. Just put them in the ground. You can bury this green part or not. You, I mean, honestly, there's you cannot make a mistake with this. Even if you plant it upside down, it will still find a way to grow itself right back up. Uh, they are that easy to grow. These are like, you know, make any gardener, no matter how inexperienced or negligent or unconfident un, uh, you are with gardening, these ones are going to work for you. Uh, that's how simple daylilies are. They, uh, they will come out, they will um, spread into these nice clumps over the years if you want to sp uh, split them. They're very easily split. I split them all the time. I, I yeah. grow hundreds of daylilies in my own garden. Easy, 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 you can share. You can actually eat these flowers. They're edible. They make beautiful uh, little decorations for salads. They have a little nice sweet taste. Um, they're just like the simplest little happy flowers. And by the way, daylilies, we call them daylilies because all of those blooms just last a day. They come and they go and they come and they go. So if you can imagine the power of this little plant just constantly throwing out these blooms every day, all summer long, you know, that's that's kind of how tough these guys are. And they are tough, by the way, too. I just want to say, I live up here in Boston. They're fully hardy here. This is zone five. I know they'll go down to zone three, which is everybody in the lower 48. And then they're happy all the way into the heat as well. So um, you don't have to worry where you live. These are definitely a plant that will work for you. Yeah. And um, go ahead. I was going to say, at $20, you get six of them. I have daylilies yeah. in my house. I'm going home and I'm picking some daylilies and I'm making a daylily salad. That's what I'm, I didn't know you could, I didn't know you I could know. eat them. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be eating freaking yeah. daylilies now. I didn't even know. My neighbors will think I'm nuts. I'm gonna be like, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> And they're delicious as well. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. All right, if you wanna get them, we're very busy. We got a lot of people ordering more than one set. They're ordering two and three sets. You will get, everything that you see here is what eventually you will get. What I love about bare root is that it's so easy. I mean, literally pop in the ground, put dirt on it. There's nothing else, no transplanting, none of that stuff. And you could plant them in borders around your house. They do like a little sun. So, you know, you could put them around the corner, put them on a walkway. Every year they're gonna pop out and you're gonna be like, oh, the day lives. It's like a sign of spring. You're going to absolutely love it. $19.95 for these 769-697. All right, coming up, and I want my uh, my producer, Brian, to remind me uh, how many we have left. I know we had 500. We have 400 remaining of the berry white hydrangea, one of my absolute favorite plants that we carry here. I love the color. I love the display. I love the size. I'll come over in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. And I will show you, I mean, these things are gonna get absolutely huge for you. And they're these big snowball clumps of pink and white. I had 500, I'm down to 400. They're only 29, this is only 29.95 and it is absolutely beautiful. So if you wanna order it, the item number is 745-557. And it's uh, flex pay and free shipping and handling. All right, come on over, we got more beautiful plants. I'm gonna sit in my chair for this one. Uh, these are called uh, Coreopsis. And anybody out there that loves flowers will love these because they are a very unusual combination of colors. With these, you have that really deep, deep sort of a, um, almost a, um, just a deep, real true golden color. And then you have this amazing sort of a, a deep, almost like a burgundy purple color. And then you have the butter yellow on the outside and they grow in these beautiful clumps. They're almost like daisies. That's what I would say they're similar to. But the yellow and burgundy blossoms are gorgeous. You have this deep green foliage underneath, which really uh, allows those uh, flowers to really pop. And let me tell you, one of the easiest plants you will ever grow. You're getting three of the Coreopsis. Best price we've ever done for them and free shipping and only 500 to go around. I'll let Rochelle take it away. Go ahead, Rochelle. Yeah, these are such fun flowers. I've got a bunch of them in my own garden. And the reason I love them is because um, I'm really into that naturalistic sort of planting style. I have a big naturalistic garden in my front yard and I have a ton of these because they have that sort of, I love the wiry stems. They kind of have that little bit of wild look to them with these beautiful, simple flowers. I mean, da daisies are, you know, they're just such a classic bloom, uh, but these have that unique coloring. And they also have these sort of fringy little petals, you know, they're not like completely rounded. So they have like this, um, 
I don't know, like a sort of tattered bohemian sort of look yes. about them. And um, I, I don't know. I just like them. Um, the color is very soft. They kind of go with everything. It's not one of those uh, yellows that, that, you know, really stands out. It's just sort of that blended yellow. But look at this. This is, this is what's going to arrive in the mail. They're substantial plants to begin with. They're perennials. So they're going to come back year in and year out. I you get, get the one-year guarantee from Leaf and Petal. Um, and then on top of that, um, you know, these clumps will get bigger and bigger, just like everything, uh, every year. So you're going to, you know, kind of continue to um, enjoy more and more flowers. Oh. And they're great for cutting. They're also really great um, for uh, xeric garden. These yeah. are, uh, once they're established, they don't, um, they're not they're not real wimpy about the water. They they'll take a nice hot sunny spot and really at, you know stand up to that. You so know, that's that's a great thing. Great front porch plants. Look at how pretty those are. And did you yeah. see how they? Do you see how they're kind of moving in the breeze here today? We have a beautiful morning here. It's only like in the maybe 70 degrees. You see how they just kind of flow. You're gonna get all three of these. This is why I call them front porch plants. I love yellow on the front porch. It's very welcoming. And with that little offset color of that deep burgundy, they are gorgeous. And by the way. Tons of blossoms, tons and tons of blossoms. Tons. These are all individual plants that we've grown and you can see how beautiful they look on the porch. So if you wanted to flank your porch, you can do that with them. They are really gorgeous. By the way, if you want the little kitty cat planter, I, it's going. I got 250 left in the cat. I have it in the dog too. I like actually like the dog better, but a lot of you are cat people, so you'll see that little cat planter. If you want to get these, these are 2250. One, two, three. Absolutely beautiful. Item number 695730. If you want to get them, get, I'm telling you, get a couple of sets of them. You're going to absolutely love, it. love them. All right. So, so my pick of the flowers is the hydrangea. I had, what, what did I, I started with 500. They're half gone, or right, they're already half gone. If you want the hydrangea, this is a star in your garden. This is the one people are going to come by, you know, like your giant hibiscus, and they're going to be like, where did you get that hydrangea? You've got clumps, snowball clumps of the most brilliantly colored flowers. You have this really lovely green foliage behind it. Uh, I'll give it a little turn just so you can sort of see how full that is and how beautiful that is. I mean, it really, it, I mean, it, just looking at it says a lot. It is only $29.95. It's free shipping and handling. We'll send it out. Rochelle, love this. And it's already, I think it's going to sell out. So yeah. order quick. Yeah, Go ahead. Yeah, I yeah, go go quick because this is really a winner. Um, again, I, I I love the I love when we pick all the plants that I grow in my own garden. I grow this one as well. Actually, I grow its big sister, uh, strawberries and cream. If you know hydrangeas, uh, this one is a slightly smaller version, so it's only going to get three to four feet in all directions. Whereas some of the other ones you might have seen, like strawberries and cream, they're bigger. But I I, I got to tell you, they're basically the same plant, just a, a smaller variety. And uh, I planted mine, uh, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. I have done nothing since the day I put it in the ground, literally nothing. It just gets watered by Mother Nature. And it is the most gorgeous, big, beautiful thing that blooms for me every late summer uh, and through the kind of the heat of the summer with these beautiful blossoms that start with that um, kind of uh, pink ombre and then they and it ombres into the, the white and they age beautifully. They, they kind of get pinker as the season goes on uh, and it's, uh, you just can't beat it. And they're the cone shaped variety by the way of hydrangeas. Ow. That's all right. We'll come. We'll come back to Rochelle in just a bit. But we'll go. We just want to show you the different kind of colors that it'll do because it'll it'll range from that red to, to that blush color to white to pink colors. It'll go back and forth. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that whole field of them. I mean, it's pretty mesmerizing, right? And you're going to get one that really is going to be loaded with blossoms. So we started with five. We're now down to 200 left. If you want to grab it, it's going to sell out. I got about two or three minutes left remaining. It's free shipping and handling. Um, you, it's a very long-lived perennial, so this will come back year after year. Easy to grow. Uh, you can do this in a border. You can do it in a pot. Um, very, very sturdy stems, as you can see. So if I wanted to cut these, I could turn these into cut flowers. And you just have the largest and most impressive blooms. You get an idea. Here's my hand right here of how big these things are. I mean, these are really, really good size um, um, blooms. Very, very impre uh, impressive and just beautiful to look at. And I love, you know, I love the softer look of sunflowers. Like the Coreopsis is a little more bold with the yellow and the purple. These are just kind of heavenly. They really are. They're gorgeous. Do we have Rochelle back? Okay, we'll get Rochelle back. No worries. 
But if you want to get it, 150 remain. That's how fast it's going. This is one of those ones that's kind of a, uh, you know, like you have, you have like accent plants, like the, uh, like the Coreopsis, but then you have the ones where you're like, oh my gosh, look at that hydrangea. People will notice it. People will love it. Makes a great gift. All right, I'll, get, I'll go back to Rochelle. She knows more about it than me. How many, Brian? Now we have 90 left. All right, Rochelle, we got a one ah. minute till sellout. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know what you heard me say before I got cut off there, but um, yeah, I, I just was saying, I grow these in my own garden and um, I've had it for, you know, about seven or eight years. It is full sized now, three to four feet. They are um, just big, beautiful plants. And I wanted to tell you, literally, I put this thing in the ground in probably the worst soil in my garden over by my barn. It's very clay and yucky and it's like the worst. And I've never done a thing to it since. And it is gorgeous, just like in those pictures. So uh, this is one of those ones that, you know, I can really, with all confidence, tell you that, you know, this is going to be a tough, tough plant for your garden that needs uh, li literally no maintenance whatsoever. It's going to start out with these white blooms that age to that beautiful red, um, and they get kind of an ombre effect in between like that. That's just gorgeous. So uh, if you want to cut flowers for your garden, this is a fantastic plant for that. They have a very long vase life. Uh, but also they dry beautifully, like really beautifully. So, um, you know, just hang them up. You can make wreaths with them and all kinds of uh, gorgeous things. This is an easy, easy, fantastic plant for your garden. You cannot beat this hydrangea, the, you know the, honestly. It yeah. is the best. And the $29 you'll spend on it is going to be worth a lot more than that year. I mean, yeah. you could have this for years and years and years. And you'll be like, I can't believe that I actually balked at $29 when you get it home. And remember going to get better and better every single year. All right, Rochelle, that was way too quick. It's good to see you. It was. Man. <laughs> you too. All yeah. right, honey, take care. Are, is it gone yet? Huh? Yeah, it's is just about our last yet? call. It's almost yeah. gone. I know. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Rochelle. I'll see you later. All right, take care. Hey, really quickly, well, we got a chance. Can you follow me over? Eddie, follow me over. We got the Duracac bags, my favorite all-time, like one of my favorite all-time garden things I've ever purchased here is these Duracac bags. You're gonna get two of them. These bags, you ready for this? You're getting a two-pack, huge customer pick uh, with almost all five-star reviews. These bags will hold up to a 1,000 pounds of debris. So if you wanna use them for long clippings, if you wanna use it for sticks and shrubs and leaves, I mean, oh my gosh, and these are not like garden bags. These are heavy duty reinforced vinyl bags. They have a wire framework, so they will stand up on their own. No more bending over and trying to sweep all the stuff into the bag. Oh, and you can haul it anywhere you go. I got firewood in one of mine and I use the other one as my leaf bag. My, actually, my recycle guys love it. They just dump it in the back of the recycle thing and they're like good to go. But you could put firewood in here, kids' toys, uh, storage stuff in your garage. All right, I'm down to green and I've got 500 pairs of these, $27.99. You'll have these bags for years. They fold up uh, for wintertime when you're not using them. Uh, easy to wipe out, rinse them out, fold them back and put them away. They have handles on every side and underneath so that you can take them anywhere you go. 500 remain to the lucky people to get them. Two pack of Duracac bags. All right. Also available if you'd like to get these because I've got a tomato tower coming up. This is our leaf and petal three piece chef's delight heirloom tomato. You are getting three of the most delicious, juicy, sweet tomatoes you've ever had. They come, uh, some of them are gonna be the striated kind with the cool stripes. Then you're gonna get the big giant beefsteak style tomatoes. And then those super sweet tomatoes as as well. If you love tomato sandwiches, if you love tomato pie, if you love tomato salad, well then you'll love these tomatoes. 695-685 is the item number. You're getting the Cherokee purple, the mortgage lifter, and then you're getting the rainbow. Those are just great tomatoes. So, um, oh, real quick, behind me, my, my, my pick of the next hour is the hammock, the portable hammock for dad for Father's Day. First airing on sale, you gotta grab that. I own one of these, I love it. Take it anywhere you go, you got a hammock. All right, so we're just talking about tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Here's the problem. What do you have to do with a tomato plant? You have to stake it, right? And then you gotta get bigger stakes and bigger stakes because a tomato grows, it's a vine, right? This is called the flat pack tomato tower, a fruit and veggie tower. I own it, I love it, because as your tomato grows, you can add 
more levels all the way up to almost six feet tall. Your tomatoes will grow through. They'll be supported by the frameworks uh, levels on each thing. It is self-watering. You could pour water in the bottom. It takes, I think, a, a, just about a half gallon of water on the bottom so that the tomato plant will draw the water when it needs to, much less watering. Normally with fruits and vegetables, you have to water every day. You don't have to do that with this. You can water every few days. Check the water level. Self-adjusting, easy to put together. Literally, the box, box folds down. That's why they call it a flat pack so you can put it away at the end of uh, growing season but you open it up you put the, the the four pegs in a level four pegs in a level four pegs in a level and then the top as it's growing you build your tomato tower this price is crazy at $24.95. You're getting it a better deal than I bought mine for last year. It's 684192. Let me introduce you to our special guest. His name is Tom Wise, and he is indeed very, very wise. He knows a lot about gardening. Tom, I bought this last year. Love it, love it. Finally, I don't have to worry about staking those dang tomatoes. Guy, this has got to be one of my favorite items of all times. I, I was introduced to this piece last year, and I love it. Yeah. I'm horrible when it comes to watering the plants. I overwater, I underwater. Yeah. I just can't seem to get it right. This eliminates the problem. With the, it's, a, it's a breakthrough type of technology. Let me just show you what, first of all, these are tomatoes that I've been growing. These are peppers that I've been growing. I've been eating. I've already, we've already harvested about two dozen of these tomatoes. I haven't harvested but a couple of these so far. It's exciting to go out to the go out to the patio and just start picking fruit. And my brother's a vegetarian, and I've been losing weight, by the way, <laughs> eating all these vegetables. But here's the technology. It looks like a regular ordinary, you know, gardening box, but it's got a trick to it. It's got a little, it's got a little hole here. And you go, what's going on there? Well, inside you can see it's got a couple of feet, right? All right, this is interesting. Then I take this plate and I drop the plate down and I create a space of about an inch, inch and a half. Then I put water in here. First, I put my, my plant in here, the dirt. Then I water it this way. And so the, now the plant reaches through the plate to get the water it wants. It takes as much as it wants. And if it doesn't want any water, it doesn't take any water. The tomatoes are thirsty. I put about a gallon of water in here every single time. And then the, the peppers, about, about a quarter of that. And it's very interesting to see how fast they grow and how much water they take. And I'm not doing anything. If I take a couple of days off and go away for the weekend, I can relax and know that my plants will stay watered. You know, it's the first airing of the season, which is actually good because if you did plant tomatoes or you're getting ready to plant tomatoes, I know everybody lives in a different part of the country, so you're planting at different times. What's nice about this is it grows with you. When I used mine last year, I just put it in the first level and I put my, you know, my uh, little uh, 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 tomato plants in it. And as they grew, all I did, if you come down here, I, I just took the plant and I trained it up through the underside and then I pulled yes. I pulled out whatever I needed to pull out and then on the next level I did the same thing I just I pulled the you know the little um, whatever the greenery was out and then where the tomatoes were I did that and then as it got taller because a I tomato will never grow taller than this it's about as tall as they grow I had it all go out. so I had levels of tomatoes all kind of hanging over the side while the stalk was in the middle and it was supported. Because you know the worst thing that could happen to a tomato is you get these, especially with the ones I was just selling, the big tomatoes, is it's gonna yep. go boop, wah, wah, right? It's gonna lay over on yep. its side after a while and the tomatoes okay. are gonna die. They're, or they're gonna get rotten. This thing is brilliant and for the price, Tom, I was going out every year and I was buying like six foot Green, like green steaks and putting them in. Problem is, right. I'd wind up using four or five of them for every plant. Those things were like two or three bucks a piece. I was spending $12, $13, and, I, and it wasn't working. I was constantly tying, I was clipping. This, as the tomato plant grows, or, or it could be green beans, it could be peas, it could be, Absolutely. Uh, you know, any plant that, that, you know, that actually grows vertically and has fruit on it. You know, you could, a fig tree, you know, if you got one, like the fiddle leaf fig that I have, same thing. Yep. You don't have to stake it, you just use the tower. I mean, it's brilliant, Tom. Yeah, and you don't have to have a lot of land. Everybody can now enjoy fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. You've got a condo, little patio. This can, this could be a great way to start your vegetables, start a, a, a plant or a tree inside the house and then move it in and out. It's lightweight. Um, it's, it's, an, it's an opportunity to put it in the sun, take it out of the sun. Some plants like a lot of sun, some plants like a little shade. You can dial in exactly what you need for the plant you've got. You can't beat, Guy, I know you and I both appreciate walking out to the garden and getting something fresh and eating it. 
once you have that experience, you'll never buy, you'll never want to buy anything at the, you know, at the supermarket again. Right. It's simple. Assembles in a couple of minutes. You get the pride of growing things yourself. Yeah. The excitement, you know, having maybe just a little hobby with your grandkids or with your kids. You don't need a lot of space. A little spot on the on the, on the patio, a little spot in the backyard. Yeah. And uh, you're growing your own vegetables. Well, it, exciting. it's like anything else. If you do it right, all right, then there's no excuses, <laughs> right? You say, well, I should have done this. This is the way to grow your tomatoes and other plants that climb right. It's the way to do it. I own it. I love it. Item number is 684192. Tom, thank you, buddy. We're going to see you later with the telescopic pruner. Yes. One of my favorite all-time garden items there that's coming up, coming up in a little bit. Thank see you then, Tom. Hey, come on over. Last call or are we done? Gone. All right, we sold out the hydrangea. I'll try to get these back. Getting late in the garden season, but congratulations to those of you that picked it up. All right. So uh, when I was planning the show with my planners and, and uh, our team yesterday, I saw these online and I was like, okay, these are the dang cutest things I've ever seen. This is a little kitty or a little doggy planter. You can put any plant you want in there and put it right out on your front porch. There's the kitty. I got about four or 500 of those. There's the doggy. I got about, oh no, the cat's down to 200. I got 500 left in the, in the dog. They are absolutely adorably made. They are made of iron. There's a spring-loaded little thing for their head. So when the wind hits it, they'll kind of move around a little bit and they'll dance. You've got um, iron footings down here and they each have little feet on them. They're all hand painted. Look at the whiskers on that cat. I went on hsn.com. One of the reasons I put it in the show is I read the reviews. There are, last time I checked, there are 14 reviews. Every one, every one five star across the board there's no review that's not five star you will love it if you want the cat you better get on it pretty quickly because uh, people are going to grab it let me introduce you to our special guest her name is deb byers i love deb byers she's standing by <laughs> deb what's cuter than these nothing Hi, i nothing is cuter than these and i love that i went on dot com too and i saw the same reviews that you did and i thought this is amazing Come our on. customer got these guys and it has never been on the air before this is your first time seeing them so i hope you're going to be able to grab them they are both adorable if you have a cat person you want to grab the cat if you're a dog person you want to grab the dog but it doesn't matter they're both fabulous they stand each of them stand about 19 inches high so they're ample size they're made of iron like uh, lightweight iron like um like I said, they are rust resistant and weather resistant. So put them outside. They have a drainage hole. So if you want to go ahead and put soil and grow something in them, you can. But you could also bring them into the house and enjoy them by putting a pot in them. Now, I'm going to pick up the dog here because I want you to see a couple of things. The planter itself is nine inches deep and eight inches across, and it tapers down to about four inches. So I just went to my garden shop and got a plant already in a pot and just popped it right in there so it's good to go. But look at how adorable he is. The space between his ears is nine inches. So these are ample size, and you're absolutely right. They've got that beautiful little spring on them to give them that little bit of je ne sais quoi with the <laughs> gorgeous little head. They're absolutely adorable. They are primary colors. Even their feet are painted different colors, so they're so whimsical. And you get two stakes. You can put one in the front around one foot and one in the back around the other foot to go ahead and make them secure if you want to go ahead and put them in the ground for more security. But you don't have to because they are stable in and of themselves. But there's a reason why they're already a customer pick because, guys, these are just adorable. Well, you know, Deb, and, and they add a little personality to your front porch, or if you want to have them in, is it for an in they're great for indoor plants as well. You get an idea of the size of them as I'm standing in front. By the way, if you want the cat, I got 125 left. <laughs> and I got about four, we started with 1,000, and I got about 400 left in the dog. I like the dog. I'm more of a dog person. If you're a cat person, maybe you got one of both, you can get one of each. Great gift for somebody. If you have somebody that's got a gift giving uh, occasion coming up, you want to get the dog for dad for Father's Day, <laughs> he can put a little plant in there. You'll love it. $23.95. Um, I would say use your uh, brand new HSN credit card with your $40 off. You could, because this would be about, probably about 30 bucks with uh, shipping and handling and tax, a little, maybe a little bit more than that. So you could cover it with your $40, but get it home. All right, 100 left on the cat. 
The cat is good. I guess we got more cat people than we do dog people out there. <laughs> but if you come down, look at the little feet. All the feet are painted. They're all a different color. So it's going to stand in your garden. It's all uh, uh, what we call like a wrought iron design. It's hand painted. And they're just beautiful. Little bit of personality for your garden, Deb. I think that's what everybody wants. And I love the size of it. It's not too big. Just big enough, right? So that you can put a little plant in there and make it absolutely cute. Look at mine. Look at mine on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> They are so adorable, Guy, and they're so whimsical. And what our customers were saying online was saying that they were just like little works of art, but they're also practical, too, because they make fabulous little planters. By the way, we said they're 19 inches high from here to the top, and that the cat is 18 inches from nose to tail, and the dog is 20 inches from nose to tail. But you have 9 inches of depth and eight inches across to go ahead and put your favorite plant in there or grow your favorite plant in there. But whether you're a dog person or a cat person, these are absolutely whimsical and they'll be a great addition to your garden. They're just, just adorable. I love them, right? The exact size, they're about 20 inches by six inches by about 19 inches long. So just about 20 inches high, gives you an idea. We are doing last call on the cat. I got two dozen left in cat and I got about 300 or so left in the dog if you want to grab them. Deb, thank you. Adorable. Oh, You're always adorable. Always a pleasure, Guy. <laughs> Thanks, Guy. I appreciate it. Have a terrific day, everyone. All right, Deb. You too. All right, we are uh, we are going to uh, take a, a little bit of a break here. Uh, we've got the long arm pruner, one of my favorite tools. I own that. I love it. That's coming up. We haven't aired it in a while. That's coming up in just a bit. Uh, but we got lots more cool stuff coming up on HSN. Uh, let's say hi to our squirrel before we go to break. Hello, squirrel. nothing quite like shopping with a friend. So pull up a chair and shop with us. We'll be dishing the scoop on what's hot. Catch you up on what you've missed. And share some of our favorite discoveries. Come shop with us every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. I'm on a hunt for the things that make life easier. You know, the products you can't live without. It's all about having the right tool for the right job. Come join me every Saturday at 7 a.m. to find out what makes me say, now that's clever. You can't afford not to be brave. It's not even an option. When life puts a wall in front of you, you break it down. Remove the fear. Remove the uncertainty. Be authentic. They say fortune favors the bold. I've been bold all my life, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Discover fresh new summer finds during HSN's Countdown to Summer event. From fashion and fitness to grilling and gardening, we have everything you need to kick off the summer. Plus, we're celebrating with a one-day-only special offer on May 15th. So HSN is the destination for all your summertime essentials. Don't miss our Countdown to Summer on HSN and HSN.com, now through Sunday. This May, HSN and QVC celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month with our customers, vendors, team members, and communities. All month long, we'll be highlighting Asian American and Pacific Islander owned or founded businesses that have become a part of our family. To learn more and to shop these great brands, visit hsn.com and qvc.com and search AAPI Businesses. sold out we just got them back i'm very very excited it's called the long arm pruner here's the issue right you, listen i got a pole saw i got i got all these power tools but sometimes i just want to get out there and trim you know some of those branches that are hanging in front of my picture window maybe they're hanging over your car this is called the long arm pruner this is an adjustable length pruner so you can adjust the length of it up or down short or long 
locks into place when you need it to lock in. It's got a handle way down here and the clippers are way over here. What this enables me to do is not get on a ladder. Like if I've got a little uh, demo set up for here, over here for you guys. So I got a tree up here, watch this. So rather than me have to get up on a ladder for this, all I gotta do is extend it to the range that I need it. Go right up here like this. I don't know if you, are you guys got the shot? Watch, grab it. <laughs> what? Take it down, and there it even holds on to it. So now I can take it, let it go, and put it right in the uh, in the trash or in the, my recycle bin. I'll do that one more time. And by the way, this is a pretty thick branch. Don't be afraid. I'll do the same thing. Give it a cut. <laughs> it's so awesome. I could do it anywhere I need to. If I need to go even higher, watch this one. It's way up. That is how much how much taller is that than me? That's got to be seven, eight feet over my head. I have control. If I'm picking fruit, I can use it to pick apples off a tree. It'll adjust from a, a super uh, long uh, arm pruner all the way up. It has a little uh, locking latch. Good to go, a little comfort grip. We are doing this at $29.95. So before I get Tom back, this is the one to use with your $40 uh, new uh, HSN card uh, gift we're gonna give you. Because when you add the tax and everything, it's just under 39, it's about $38, $39. The whole thing will be free if you use your brand new HSN credit card. Sells out every time, it easily in my top five all time HSN. Anything purchases, let alone garden purchases, you will love it. It is item 693549. Everybody needs this, Tom Wise. The telescoping pruners are back, buddy. They're back. Guy, I love this piece. You know, it's like a, being a gentleman or a lady gardener. You're able to get your pruning done without any gas, without any ladders, without any noise, without any ropes, no chains, no nothing. It weighs less than two pounds. It could not be any simpler. All you can do, you grasp it. You can elevate it with one hand if you want. You have a little pad if you want to use two hands. It's got this huge red tip. And as you pointed out, you can cut and then grab at the same time. So I like to say if the red's on the tip, then you've got a grip. I'll turn around, I'll rotate, have the red on the, on the tip, I'll grab that little piece of branch. Look at this, it holds it, and now I can throw it away. So rather than pruning and then creating a mess and then picking all that stuff up later, I can prune, I can grab, I can clean up as I go. It's absolutely brilliant. And then if things are higher, I it can add a foot, I can add another foot, I can go five feet, I'm six feet tall, plus add five feet over my head. Wow. Five, six, so we're up there high, 10, 11 feet. So I, the safest place to be when you're pruning a tree is on the ground and not with a ladder. One-handed, reaching in, I mean, look at that, live TV. Wow. I'm reaching in and I'm pruning the tree. It can't get any easier. How about this guy? How about if you're just maintaining your property? Uh, I want to pick up things. I've got a bad back. I don't want to stoop over it. I have a hard time going down. I can use this five foot long pruner, reaching down, grab a little debris. Maybe my neighbor uh, was walking the dog and uh, put a bag down and didn't really get a chance, <laughs> chance to get you pick it up on the way back. I can grab that. I can get paper towels, paper cups, whatever's on the ground, and then pick it up very, very easily without having to do any stress or strain. Or how about if I'm reaching in somewhere? I want to uh, prune rose bushes. That can get a little prickly. That can get a little stingy in my hand. I'm at least three feet away. I can be five feet away. Maybe there's a snake down there. Maybe there's a, a spider back there. I did see a spider here this morning. <laughs> there's a spider down there. I can reach in. Maybe my bushes are three feet, four feet, five feet wide. We've all seen the neighbors with that undulating bush. He just couldn't get in there because he couldn't reach in there. Now I'm reaching in. I'm grabbing. Let me get rotated to the top. I'm grabbing and I'm snapping and I'm cleaning and I'm pruning <laughs> and I'm not stressing. It's quiet. It's relaxing. Oh my gosh! It's lightweight. Right? Isn't this nice? It's very yes, yeah. Sir. You're right. It's very zen. It's a it's a it's, they should call it the telescoping long reach zen pruner. So I I'm gonna it. I'm gonna show you close up how it works because a lot of people are like, how does that thing work? So here it is, and I'm just gonna cut. 
and show you. Look how simple that is. This, this is the cutting mechanism. So you see, I've got a, I've got a pretty thick branch right there. Absolutely yep. no problem. I'm going right through it. I wanted everybody to see that. If I want to grab something, I can grab it. I can move something and, and, and take it. And then if I do want to cut it, I can cut it very, very easily. So if it's something that's in front of you or something that's, you know, maybe below you, you can do that as well. You got a comfort grip right here. And then there's a little mechanism right on top. If I depress this little latch, and I'll show you how to do that as well. If I depress it like that, I can, I can pull it. Oh, did I get it locked in there? Hold on. Of course, right? Of course. No, there it is. I'm pulling the wrong part. <laughs> Uh, you know what? See, that's uh, and I own the thing. Uh, yeah, pull this way. Don't try to pull that way. So I can open it up, and it'll lock into any position. I'll show you that again. So lock, yeah. lock again, right? Open it Spring up. Loaded. I'm gonna go back up, and I want to show. And by the way, when you do that, the the little trimmers automatically close. When you want to reopen it, all you do is you give it one squeeze, and it reopens again. And now I'm gonna go over on the other side, and I can do this, Tom, with one hand, very yes. easily. Watch this. I'll go right up here. My aim is good, I grab it. I have the ability to either trim it clean like that, or if I want to, I can grab onto it, and I can grab a piece just like that, simply by turning it, uh, turning it upside down, that'll hold it. It gives me reach, like, not, I really don't have anything else. Even my pole saw, I can't go that high, um, because right. it's, it's heavy. This weighs Ungainly. two pounds. All right, we started with 1,500. My producer, Brian, says 900 <laughs> remaining. Tom, keep going. Yeah. 900 Guy, left. It, it's simple. You want you, when you're done using it, you can collapse it. There's a little spring. You lock it. You slide it down. It opens up. Uh, four feet. Go to five feet. And then I'm going to show you. I don't want to make this complicated. I want to make it simple. Notice the red tip. Notice my grip. I squeeze it and it, and it starts cutting. That's not that's not a, a surprise. But I can rotate it. Now the red tip rotates to the other side because let's say I'm working this side of the tree. I want to cut and I want to grasp, oops, I opened that up on purpose. I want to cut and I want to grasp it, right? And now if I go work the other side of the tree, all right, if I keep it this way, now when I cut, it's going to fall. See that, it falls. But if I rotate it, which it allows me to do, I can cut and I can grasp all simultaneously. So you rotate it, keep the red on the tip, and then that means you've got a grip. And you're talking about uh, fruits and vegetables. Look at this. I, if you've got, a t if you've got a, an apple tree or avocado tree, maybe a pear tree, well, you're, can, you're able to pick three, four, five, six feet up. How about you want to get those really nice apples or those oranges that you haven't gotten in years? They're up there seven, eight, nine, ten feet high. You can reach all the way up, pick it, and then grab it simultaneously. Let me show you right here. I've got a little, little red pepper. Grab it, pick it, grab it, and you don't ruin the fruit. You're able to reach up, grab it. It could not be any simpler. It's a great tool, guy. We have 760 remaining. We started with about 1,500. This sells out every single time. Get it home. I mean, honestly, you know, in the world of garden tools, you rarely see anything this effective for under 50 bucks. It really is a great deal. I own it. I love it. I bought it the first time we had it because I was yep. like, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, listen, I don't mind getting on a ladder, although I have fallen off a couple of ladders and I got lucky enough that I was on soft grass when I landed. I don't want you to have to do that. I want you to be able to take your long arm pruner go to whatever tree or branch it is and just give it a little snip and you're good to go oh that's a great example over your fence right your neighbor's yep. stuff is creeping over your house yeah. or maybe you got a dead branch and it's hanging right over your car and you don't want it to get scratched, this is the way to do it. It telescopes and gives you easily an extra five feet of height. If you've got fruit trees, you can actually turn it upside down and pick the tree because remember it'll grab on as well. I'll show you one more time, I'll go way up here and I'll show you how easy it is to trim. I grab it, all right, there it is. Nice. Look at that, one hand, and now I can simply take that, put it right in my uh, recycle pile or in my recycle bin or in my Durasac. Um, I can do that as well. And then, like I said, if I need to go something uh, shorter, I lock it in, and now I can do things that are right in front of me. I can pick things up, I can trim whatever I need to trim. Watch right here, I'll give that a cut right in front of you, boom. There it is, right? I can, look at this That's one, watch. Sweet. Ready, 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 watch. I got this one, I'll just cut it. 
Boom, there it is. It works every time. The, your hand is way over here and the clippers are way over there. And remember, if I want to, I can take that clipper, <laughs> do it right this time, and I can extend it all the way out. So, I mean, if you look at how far away, I mean, I am way, I can come right almost at you. That's look at right. that. I can grab you right there. And I, you know, I'm like Tom, I'm pretty tall. Tom says he's six feet, I think he's closer to seven uh. feet. But, uh, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, nah. uh, but I'm six three, I know Tom, you're like six five. We're, we're tall guys. Six four. Yeah, six yes. four. But still, there's stuff that's nine, 10 feet in the air. Absolutely. And I do not want to have to go into the shed or in my house, I got a ladder, you know, I've got one of those uh, eye reach ladders. I don't want to bring that thing outside. I just want to get out there no and way. trim it. I want to do it. And, and no way. if I have to get a ladder, Tom, that ruins that whole Zen thing I was talking about. Yeah, I want right? to be down on the ground, nice and absolutely. Absolutely, you can't be one with your pruner if you're on a ladder, for goodness sakes. And, and also, Guy, you know, very often if you're pruning something like rose bushes, your hands get in there, you're going to get a little prickly. Now you're going to be guaranteed to be three feet away. By the way, it does work clearly in every configuration. It doesn't always have to be five feet. So I can extend it. My hand's way over here. I'm picking up trash. I don't want to be bending down. I just want to get the trash in the can, whether it's paper, plastic, maybe it's other clippings. And it's so simple, so easy. This is one of those items that you, know, you may not even have knew existed. And of course, Love it. HSN scours the, the world, the globe for things that make your life easier and are fun to own. No chains, no gas, no motors, no noise. You're quietly taking care of business. I, I love, love it. it. All right, so we, we're adding some time to the clock. I got about 450 remaining. Actually, what? 400 left if you want to get it. Affordable, and by the way, this is, like I said, this item or our pest repellers, which is our pick of the show coming up later, that's what you want to use your $40 for in this hour. Uh, you get $40 when you get a brand new HSN credit card today. Get this. I mean, you're going to love it. You're, let me just tell you this. When you're out in front of your property and you're doing your little trimming, every neighbor that's up is going to be like, Ms. John, what has he got there? What, what is that? Are those pruners? Normally your pruners are in your hand. These are just like hand right. pruners, only you get about five feet away and you can prune anything you want. You've got that fingertip control so you can grab anything you need. If you could drop something on the ground, like look, I wanna come over here, I wanna pick something up, I just grab yep. it with my pruner. That's all I need to do. Yeah. If, you, if you drop something on the ground, you can even pick up garbage off, off the ground, you know, wrappers, stuff like that. You know, it, yep. I mean, it really is an all around great tool. I have 300 and 75 left. All right, 375, I'm gonna give it back to Tom. Tom, give me one more once over with our final minute. Guy, weighs less than two pounds. It stores in about three feet, takes up less space than a broom. You've got a padded handle, but you can comfortably use it in an extended fashion, all five feet, it's lightweight. You can close the tip and then lock, you can lock it in so it's nice and safe. It's uh, the easiest, most fun, gardening item you'll ever own. I love Look it. At that. I, jo Tom, every time I use it, I think of you, and I'm like, my buddy Tom, <laughs> he hooked me up with this guy. You're gonna love it. 693-549, only $29 and change. Get it home. Tom Wise, the best. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, guy. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too, my friend. All right, so whether the pest is a, a uh, you know, a, a rangy little weed or plant that you're trimming, or maybe it's something crawling around in your house, still a pest is a pest, we've got the MAC. I've only had one airing of this. We went through twice as many as I thought we would go through in that airing. We have the final remaining quantities available. It is finally back in stock. There are Bell & Howell number one, two pack of ultrasonic and electromagnetic pest repellers. What this is, because I have sonic, I have the regular ultrasonic pest repellers in my house, but I have two of these. These are the ones I use in the big rooms. I use this in my master bedroom and I use it in my living room. Why? Not only are they gonna create a force field in the house with ultrasonic waves to eliminate pests, and I'm talking about ants, cockroaches, spiders, rodents, mice, whatever it is, but they also are electromagnetic, so they work through the wiring in your home to create that negative, terrible, you know, wave that insects don't like, and they run in the other direction. We are not talking about a poison. This is nothing you're going to have to sprinkle around. This is not going to leave half-dead cockroaches upside down on your carpet when you wake up. 
What this does is this is like, it's almost like the rat patrol. It creates a force field that insects do not want to be around so they don't come in your house. Now I will tell you this quickly, and it's important because when I read the reviews, I always get mad and I'm like, when you first plug these in, if you see a couple, if you see a bug or whatever, remember, you're seeing it because it doesn't want to be there anymore. It wants to get out. So it's, it's actually scaring the bugs out of your house. You're creating a force field. It's non-toxic. It's safe for your pets. The only thing you can, if you got gerbils or hamsters, they're rodents. So don't put one in that room. But other than that, pets, cats, dogs, they don't even know it's there. It has a little indicator light that will blink every time it sends out that wave. And that's what the insects don't, insects don't like. Can we put up the types of insects it works on? Do we have that, Brian? That little graphic? I think we do. Yeah, so uh, to give you an idea. So if you, if you love any of these bugs, right, don't buy this. If, if you love mice, rats, <laughs> ants, roaches, or spiders, if you love them and you don't mind them running around, don't buy this, all right? But if you don't want it in your house, this is the thing you need to buy. You're gonna get a two pack. You get them in white, they come in taupe, or they also come in gray. Each one, the white is going very, very fast. Each one has indicator lights. They actually look like uh, burglar alarm uh, protection inside your house. If somebody's peeking in, they're gonna see these blinking. I know that's happened at my house before, but they sell out every year, two for $38. Use your $40 gift card for this. Let me introduce you to our special guest, Lou Caputo. Lou, these, are, these have been so popular since we got them back last week, and they're gonna sell out again. Oh yeah, well, you know why? Because, well, first of all, we all know these Bell & Howell ultrasonic pest repellers are amazing, okay? They, they are the, the humane way to get rid of pests. The rats, the mice, the ants, the roaches, the spiders. But this is a step above what we normally sell. I call this the one-two punch when it comes to pest repelling. Because you're getting inside of this both the ultrasonic and the electromagnetic. Now, if people don't understand what this means, ultrasonic sound waves are sound waves at a, at a frequency higher than human beings can hear. Not only us, but our dogs and cats won't hear them either. But the rats, the mites, the ants, the roaches, the spiders, they can. We don't know what it sounds like to them. We think it's like fingernails on a chalkboard but we know it makes them want to leave. But where do they go? Sometimes they don't leave the house, they go into the walls, because think about it, the ultrasonic sound waves can get muffled by the walls, they'll bounce off of solid surfaces. So Bell and Hal thought about that and said, well, if they're in the walls, what can we do? So they added that electromagnetic feature guy, and what that's doing is using the wiring that's already in your house and putting an electromagnetic pulse through it that kind of disrupts their nervous system of the pest, and it just makes them want to leave. It makes them uncomfortable. We're not killing anything. There's no traps, there's no baits, there's no poisons. This is the easy way to do this. You plug them in one time, they start working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days around the year, whether you're home, whether you're away, whether it's a rental that you own, these are going to do it. And you know what's fun about these is that like my dogs they they just sit there they stare at them they see the blinking lights they don't know what they're doing they have no idea <laughs> we just know that we don't have any pest guy that's what i know hey lou listen it, yeah. it, it, this is one of the best things i've ever i purchased this when i first got here and i never I, I maybe once a year i'll see a bug racing out the door because he came in and he's like ah what the heck's going on in this house right but, but think right. about it in order for you to use traditional pest control you have to buy toxic poisonous chemicals and you and when you do that you're you're basically feeding the bugs that are already in your house so half of them are going to run wherever they run to their nest and and, th and those will do what you want them to do but the other half are going to die in your house now you got an upside down right. cockroach and lou i know yes. this is gross but i ask you to do it every time what does a cockroach do when it's ready to die what does it do lou? So so German cockroaches, females, when they're bearing eggs, yeah. if you kill them, yeah. they will jettison the no. eggs, and literally there are hundreds of them, no. and they will still hatch. So you've killed one cockroach, but unleashed a couple hundred more. Yeah, jet, That's, jettison, it, it doesn't work. jettison the egg sac. I want you to jettison. think about that when you got a half dead cockroach. In fact, the girl cuts my hair, her name's Brittany, she told me yesterday, you know, my husband saw a cockroach right in the middle of the floor the other day, and he went with his yep. bare foot and he squashed it, and I was like, did, now I said to her, I'm like, how bad did he squash it? And she said, why? I said, because it probably let go of its egg sac right before. And she was like, what? 
they they yeah. do what? She was shocked. She goes, yeah. oh my gosh, I have to tell my husband that he's got it. Because I'm like, if you well, see a cockroach, you got to grab it and you got to flush it. Because you got to get rid yeah. of the whole cockroach can. Don't put it in your garbage can because then the, the nope. eggs are going to get born in the garbage. But the bottom right. line is, Lou, why even do that? Why even let them in your house? Keep them out in the first place. Know. You know, I don't know why people do, I, mean, I think people want to, you know, play amateur exterminators. Yeah. They want to go out and they want to buy all I this know. stuff. And you know, and I always bring out these bins that are in front of me here, and each one of these has something in it for the various species that Drubel and Hal pest repellers take care of. So this is all stuff for ants. This is all stuff for roaches, because they don't work for the different species. This is for rats and mice over here. This is the stuff that's dangerous for you, your kids, and your pets. But here's the deal. When you use this stuff, it does wear off after time, so you've got to reapply it. And then when you run out of it, guy, guess what? You're going back to the store and spending more money. When you've got the Bell and Howell pest repellers, you plug these in one time, they start working, and they get rid of the ants, they get rid of the roaches, they get rid of the rats and mice. And one thing that's not on here, and I know that you used to love these when you were in Sedona, oh. spiders. Oh. These take this takes care of spiders. There's thanks, nothing on this thanks, table Luke. for spiders. Thanks for bringing up Sorry. that memory. So I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in this five star resort in Sedona, Arizona, right. and I'm laying in bed, <laughs> and all of a sudden I'm like, yikes, what's that? I got bit on the foot by a spider. So I call down and I'm like, and this is late, it's like midnight. I call down. I'm like, hey, I just got bit by a spider. They're like, is the spider there? I'm like, yeah, I whacked it. And they're like, you need to bring it down here because we do have very poisonous spiders in Arizona. Yes, they and I'm do. like, well, what are they doing in my hotel room? Let alone my hotel bed. Uh, but but this isn't a problem you can avoid, all right? And and yep. you never have to buy a chemical. You don't have to worry about your pets, you know, eating, uh, you know, uh, pesticides that look like food. You ever see sometimes the little green things? They look like greenies, those little things you give your dog. You don't have to worry about that. But Lou, you're actually, you're fighting and combating the problem in a realistic way. I mean, if you are using chemicals, it's the same yep. as if you're going outside and you're trying to swap mosquitoes. You're never going to get rid of oh, them yeah. that way. They're always going to come in to get the food that you're putting out for them. And then they're right. going to go back and reproduce and come back. And the ones that you kill with pesticides, they don't go back and tell their friends, hey, don't go in the Caputo house, man. He's got, he's got pesticides in there. They don't do that. They just keep Not coming in. In fact, <laughs> I know with, uh, with feral ants, if you yes. kill a feral ant in your house, it, it sends the other ants that see it dead send out a distress signal to the Hormones, nest yeah. to bring yep. more ants to, because they bring right. their, they actually bring the dead ones back. And I don't know oh, if yeah. they eat them or what, but yeah. anyway, it just makes good sense, Lou. I mean, it's easy no, it and, does. and it's easy. Plug it in. Yeah. Well, and you know, I know there's a lot of people out there that really, really doubt these, but simply because you can't see them, you can't hear them. I mean, I get it, okay? I'm gonna show you definitively that these work, okay? This is an ultrasonic leak detector. There's a microphone on the tip of this, and all it hears is ultrasonic sound waves. They actually use this to look for leaks in gas lines, okay? This device down here is what we call an electromagnetic field uh, sensor, okay? Now watch this, when I put these two things down here by one of our pest repellers, normally the only way you know they're working is that you won't see any pests and you see the little LEDs come on, but notice the numbers on the green device, the electromagnetic sensor, those are increasing every time a pulse is released. And then there's a little red LED on this one every time it hears an ultrasonic sound wave. So these are definitely doing exactly what we say, okay? Now all you've got to do is just plug these in, let the sound waves do their part, let the electromagnetic pulse do its part, and you're going to notice that those rats, those mice, those ants, those roaches, those spiders, they're going to be gone. And by the way, guy, it's not just you and me saying this, you know, the HSN legal department made Bell and Howell go and get independent third-party laboratory testing done on each and every one of those species. And the reason we picked the five things that we did, rats, mice, ants, roaches, and spiders, is because the testing's crazy expensive. So they picked the five main things people have a problem with. And I'll guarantee you right now, guy, as we are in the midst of spring approaching summer, people are starting to see an explosion yeah. in all the insects, sure. the, the roaches, the <laughs> yeah. ants, you know, all of them. They're at Lou, they're everywhere because, well, listen, we had a lot of, you know, we, a lot of us are getting a lot of rain. We're getting stuff like that. I know that's when I usually see them. I am always, right. you know, I do all my own pest control. I do my own termite treatments. If I see them, I got the foam, I spray it in the wall um, because, you know, they're not a termite. Uh, uh, they're not listed for termites, but, no. uh, you know, and I do that just to, to, because I don't want to spend $500 a year on termite control. <laughs> but if you, if you're spending four or 500 bucks a year on pest control, 
Do this, try it. And you got 30 days to try it. If it doesn't work, you can always return it. I want you to try it. Absolutely. This is the double prong attack. Works in the house and it works behind the walls. That's a, like, normally we just do Sonic, which is great enough, uh, it's good enough for most people. I like these, Lou, because I never have to worry about getting up in the middle of the night, you know, to either use the bathroom yeah. or get a drink and right. stepping on a half dead bug. I've right. done that two or three times in my life. It's a nightmare. I, I went out in my workout room like years ago before I had him, and I stepped right on a cockroach, right in the toe area. Ooh, that's nasty. The legs, that's just nasty. Lou, whatever they got, you know, they're, they, you know they're, they're skeletons on the outside, so they crunch like you're eating a Dorito, man. It's awful. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen with your Bell & Hell Pest Repellers. Never yeah. going to happen again. Once you plug these in, guy, give it a couple days, you're going to be amazed at the results. That's right. Best, uh, Bell & Hell Pest Repellers. Never step on a Dorito. Crunch. That's it. <laughs> that's our new motto. <laughs> hey, you know, it's funny until you do it. And then it ain't so that's funny. Right. But anyway, hey, Lou, great job, yes, buddy. Thanks, you're welcome. I'll thanks, see you next hour. Lou, yep. we are, hey, Lou, are you doing, are you doing the hammock? I'm doing the hammock oh, and the hydro shot. That, the, the hammock is my pick of the next hour, Lou. Excited oh, cool. Father's Day. Okay, awesome. Right, I'll buddy. see you then. Yep.